So what we want to do, if we're going to do a pre-fatigue sequence for the chest, we could take a multiple joint movement like the bench press, and then we want a single joint movement that also works the chest to pre-fatigue that larger muscle. And that a single joint movement could be, for example, for the chest and shoulders, what could we do? I heard flies. Okay, a lot of it we can do with a dumbbell, if you have a so-called pec deck or a pec machine. Uh, we, and what we can do, then, we don't have, we have dumbbells for bent on flies, but um, this morning, just in the interest of making the workout a little more efficient, we're going to show you how to do a manual resistance. Okay, so we're going to do a sequence. I'll get the demonstration in a second here, but we'll, we're going to show you how to do a, uh, we're, actually doing a we're going to start with a post exhaust. So we're going to start with a multiple joint movement, and we're going to do a single joint movement. Okay. Nice, good. That's a way to work, way to work. Bang them out. Look for at least eight. Six. Drive it up. Nice. Do it again. Would it work? Would it work? Come on. At least one. You got at least one. Come on. Come on. Make it burn. Do it again. Yeah. Come on. Get it. Get it. One more. One more. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, you got it again. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Squeeze the bar. One more. Last one. Last one, I promise. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, rack the bar. Okay, we're going to spin around. We do a bent up fly man resistance. You guys did a lot of man resistance exercises last night. This one you didn't do. It's called a bent up fly. So she's going to lay on the bench, hands behind her head. I'm going to give her resistance on the outside of her elbows, actually inside. She's going to drive her elbows together against my resistance. So it's a single joint movement working the chest and the anterior deltoid. You can't really work the chest without the anterior deltoid, even on a single joint movement. And we try to get about eight to ten of these. And I'm making it really hard for her to bring them together. She's going to resist going back down. All the way up. That's four. We're going to strip that. We're going to take the ten and the five off. Two more. Two more. Good. Last one. Give me a good stretch. Good stretch. Then drive it up. Drive it up. Touch your elbows. Touch them out. Touch them out. Touch them out. Touch them out. Resist going back and you're done. Resist. Resist. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Good. Back to the bench press. Okay, so we reduced the weight, and I'm expecting a little bit less than how many reps she got the first time, which was about 10, or I teach you to do about 12, 13. Not too fast, controlling the way down, and drive it up, drive it up, good, good, come on. Come on, make it burn, make it burn. Pop it up, pop it up, good. Hit it, hit it, hit it, squeeze the bar, squeeze the bar. Couple, get a couple, push. Oh yeah, easy, come on. All those spark plugs are firing this morning, come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, two more. I think you got two. Drive it, last one, last one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Good, rack it. One more time with the bent on fly. Resist, resist, here we go. Final rep, last rep, money rep, money rep. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Give it a good stretch, 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 stretch. Good, okay, let's give him a hand.